Hey guys, what's up? It's Kaelin Ninja back again with another video, and today we are talking about the stages of OJ2. There are a lot of admittedly pretty nice stages in OJ2, and then there are some that are absolutely fucking terrible. So today we're going to be talking about three that I really like, and two that I absolutely hate. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, of course, I cannot make this video without talking about, by far, my favorite stage. This has to be my favorite stage by default just for the fact that I use it as a training stage and like every time I fight someone I instantly go here. There's only one other stage that I think is my, this isn't my favorite design wise but this is my favorite utility wise. For tournaments and stuff, there's absolutely nothing on here that could cause potential frame drops. There's a few obstacles that you can run into which aren't distracting. I mean they could be kind of but they are pretty nice honestly and by the time like the second round hits, they're mostly gone by then. No hazards, no nothing. Two nice fat walls you can like splat someone into so you don't have to worry about consistency when it comes to wall splats and shit. Two nice walls, um, not all surrounded by walls and shit. The, the stage is big, but it's not big enough to where like you can run a halfway across the damn map and then like camp forever. I mean, you can if you're playing specific characters. Which, that's, oh, that's just OJ2 for you. This is a nice size stage. Um, everything I think about it, I really like it. Um, it's kind of bland. I mean, kind of, not even kind of. It's really fucking bland. It's just like a gym. You run around, do shit. It's pretty nice, honestly. In my opinion, <clears throat> either my favorite or my second favorite stage. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of bland. It's there, but I really like it. Um, so thank you for facilitating all these. This is like the only stage that I really like, like. So, let's go on to the next one. Alright, next we're going to talk about Hosu City District. I'm pretty sure this is what that's called. This is the Hosu City map. Uh, this is, in terms of design, is one of my favorite stages, honestly. Um, you just can tell you're in the middle of, like, a freaking superhero fight because the cars are divided. Like, you're in the middle of a busy street. The cars are, like, right there. They're, you're in traffic. This is fucking New York traffic. You can't fucking drive nowhere. Um, nice walls. The walls are buildings. Um, they make, like, yeah, they make, like, glass shattering stuff. Not too distracting. Um, pretty nice stage. is actually smaller than the UA gym. Which makes it so that way it's even harder to camp. So, yeah. Um, this stage is just nice. It's nice and homey. It has a nice atmosphere with uh, the cars and the buildings. And just makes you feel like you're actually really fighting in a city. One thing I'd wish happened was that, like, maybe the lights turn on and off. Maybe it's a randomly generated thing. Um, another thing about the lights is that uh, you can actually, like... There's a glitch that happened one time where I stood on top of the light pole. Um, like, you can actually physically collide with the light pole, which I think is kind of bad in competitively. I got, God, I cannot talk. It's kind of bad competitively because you could be learning, running around, and in the middle you get, like, stopped by a fucking flagpole. And that sucks. You can destroy it, I believe. Yeah, you can destroy it. So, it, they don't always have to be there. But yeah, also consistently nice walls. They're a bit closer, so you have to space out your wall spots a little bit better. But yeah, other than that... The stage is just a nice little stage, you know. Just, you know, this nice little cityscape. Honestly, pretty nice. Uh, I really like it. Um, and now time to talk about the final stage that I really like. Now, this may be a guilty pleasure of mine, but I really like this stage. Mostly just because, like, the stage hazard that it has isn't... It's distracting when it happens. Like, oh yeah, the floor just broke beneath me. But it isn't like that one stage that no one likes but you know i just like the stage it's really small so i can like reset people to death there are no walls so you can't get wall splats on the stage but it is small enough so that way like zoners have an even tougher time of actually doing anything because they're cramped in and you can't really do shit so yeah this is uh, that's why another one also i have a consistent track record of beating the shit out of toga on the stage so that that also makes me happy you know it also makes me like really really happy that i beat the shit out of toga on the stage because fuck toga but yeah there is a stage hazard that hopefully i can get like that <laughs> it breaks the wall and then you're playing right here the stage is i feel is a tad bit bigger than on the top floor yeah it's a tad bit bigger than on the top floor but not big enough so that way it's like ungodly like if it like went out into the street over there uh no it doesn't so that's why i like the stage it's not big 
Um, it's small enough cage. There's not really much of an atmosphere besides, you know, street. But, you know, I like that it's not too complex. So, yeah, t now that we're done talking about the funny, happy stages that everyone likes, or actually, no, only I like, apparently, but it's time to talk about the two stages that I cannot stand. There is way too much shit on this fucking stage, bro. Like, holy shit, man. There is way too much stuff on this stage. There's way too many destructible items. It gets way too distracting at round start, and I've had time for the frame drops and stuff. You know, Switch players, if you watch this, comment down below. Do you get frame drops on the stage? Because I bet you get frame drops on this stage. Leaves are falling and shit, and like, there are literally, literally all destructible stone objects, too many particles on the screen. There is way too much on the screen. Way too much. Way, 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 way too much. The saving grace is that in OJ, you can kind of like, you can see through objects after you like walk past them. But there's way too much shit to destroy, honestly. This is, this stage is only good for photo mode, in my opinion. This stage is only literally good for photo mode. Also, there's this awkward ass wall up here. You can actually splat someone into that, like, the UA building, which is cool if the wall wasn't so awkwardly fucking placed. It's like weirdly high up. So you have to aim it at a specific timing and place, but since I'm playing Nida, I can't really do that. So yeah, some wall spot combos won't really work because you wouldn't physically go high enough to actually make it work, you know? So that's why I do not like this stage, honestly. Like, this stage can go screw itself. It has way too much on it. The stage is, like, weirdly formatted. Like, where I'm, like, I get it, we're supposed to, like, fight right here, but there's way too much shit way too many shadows, way too many particles, the leaves are still falling, which would add on to it. So yeah, honestly, the stage just is way too busy for my taste. Tell me down below how you feel about all the stages that I'm talking about, but I feel like the stage is way too fucking busy. Like, there's way too much shit on the stage to actually make it, like, viably, viable competitively, and I feel like that's, wh that's why there's, this isn't a competitive stage. Um, but yeah, let's get on to the final stage, the one everyone's been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the worst map in anime arena fighter history. And I am not joking. <laughs> that is not hyperbole. This map is ass. This, this map is so bad. You see the spikes on the sides right here? You see the spikes right here? Uh, those are hazards. And if you get knocked into them, watch this. One, two, three, eh. Look at that. You get random... This stage gives you random ass extensions. This stage gives you random ass extensions. And the stage is so small that sometimes you don't even want the fucking extension, bro. There are some cool, like, character-specific combos here. But lord, there is actually a great torture method. Ask someone to play Todoroki on the stage. Fight them. Fight them with Todoroki on this map. And I guarantee you, you'd want to quit OJ. If you haven't already, you'd want to quit OJ at that very moment. Fighting Todoroki on the stage is an actual living hell. An actual living hell. He controls the entire map with one ice slide. He splits this entire map in one ice slide. And that normally happens for, like, other stages, right? That normally happens for other stages, right? But with this, since it's so small, you're forced in backed into a corner. And Todoroki's fireballs basically also control this map because of how big it is. The one good thing is that you can destroy them for a temporary amount of time, but I think they come back after the second round, which I don't know why. If stages had hazards off, this stage would be completely fine. This stage would be a completely fine stage to play on. Granted, it's kind of small. It's like it's that weird, awkward middle ground where it's small, but it's big enough to where you can camp really well on it. But yeah... Honestly, this stage is ruined simply by the fact that these spikes exist. If these spikes didn't exist, I would I'd, I'd actually kind of like this stage. But no, this stage is not good at all. It gives you random ass extensions you don't want 90% of the time. Some new players might find it cool, but you will not find it cool as soon as you get hit by a 10k combo and you think it's finished, right? Nah, you're put in this weird ass, long ass juggle state you cannot mash out of. This is like the longest like a juggle state you've ever seen. Like, look at this. Three, let's see if I can hit it. Yup! Literally, you literally have the 
entire day to get a combo off of that shit. You can make the most freeform combos in this stage, which is cool, but you shouldn't be getting, this shouldn't be a thing in, um, actual, like, you know, uh, competitive play or, like, actual play. That's why whenever I see the stage, I duck it. I just duck it whenever. Um, I see it. It's just whack. The stage is omega ass, and if you like the stage, you're wrong. You're just wrong if you like the stage, but yeah. Um, that's basically all I have to say about stages. Tell me what your favorite and least favorite stages are in this game down in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.